Hello and welcome. We are going to give you a quick walkthrough of the email client on the Palm Pre. You can see here that the, it already works down in your notification area. You get out here down in the notification when you receive email, it shows up in the notification area. When you receive more than one, it just sort of stacks up down, down there and you can even take a look and see it, the emails you've got and if you want to just get rid of them, you can. Or of course you can tap on them to go take a look at your email. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go take a look at our email. Now, as you can see, you've got a very nice setup. You've got all your accounts listed down here, and then you've got your favorited folders up at the top. There's a folder that aggregates all of your inboxes, and then it also automatically favorites your, uh, your, your various inboxes for your different accounts. You can also go into your account and select different emails, different folders, excuse me, to be available as a favorite. So I just favorited that one. Now it's not going to automatically fetch emails from these different folders, but it does mean you can get into them very quickly to uh, to see what's new. Uh, before I get into the email proper, uh, it is uh, one of my favorite things to do on a device is to take a look at its preferences. So we're going to do that, and so we'll go to preferences. Okay, now um, you've got all inboxes. Turn, I'm actually trying. You can also turn it on to flag. Um, also on this main screen, you've got your different accounts listed, and then you can set a default account or add more accounts. And so we're going to go into my uh, work account here from Gmail. You can rename it. You can set, of course, your full name. Show notification, you can turn that on and off. One thing that's aggravating, you can turn sound on as a notification, but then it turns off vibrate. You're also not able to customize the sound that the email makes when uh, you receive it. They all sound the same. It's the same alert as a text message. It's kind of aggravating. So I've turned that off and turned vibration on. You can set a default signature, of course, and a default reply to address. You can tell it to uh, you know how far back you want it to sync. So I've got mine set to a month. Now it defaults to going every 15 minutes, but if you've got an IMAP account, uh, like for example Gmail, it supports IMAP idle push email. And so if you set it to as items arrive, then email will actually push on uh, on most accounts that fully support IMAP. And then of course you know you've got your default account folders for so on and so forth. You can change your login. Or you can even pull the account out. So there's the setting there. We'll go back and back again. And let's go take a look at uh, my work inbox. I've got a bunch of emails that I sent to myself here. And of course, you can scroll here. You've got uh, up here this little notification area. It shows you how many emails you've got. And uh, you can even tap on it. it. lets you know the last time it sent and how many emails you've got sitting there in your inbox, which is pretty slick. You can hit this refresh button to refresh it if you don't have it set to push. And you can also create a new email and that opens up a new card and what's really convenient about this is say you've got a card open and you want to check a web page really quick you can do that so we'll open up the web browser here and uh, let's go to um, let's go to the mobile version of precentral.net and dot precentral.net we'll load that up and so you know let's say I want to take a look at this story here in the web browser and there it is and uh, let's say okay well I've got what I want to know from there I want to do that so I'm going to send an email to myself here of course it does autocomplete based on what you've got in your uh, address book here so we'll send this to me we'll tap in a subject subject and we'll have Some fun text. Now, one thing that's nice is when you're in an editable text field, you can hold down the shift key and that allows you to drag. And you don't have to drag exactly on the text, which is actually very convenient. You can drag anywhere on the screen to select the text that you want. And then one other nice shortcut, you can go up into your menu here and you can, you know, go edit cut, copy, paste, but notice these little buttons here. So you just hold your finger down on the gesture area, you see the center button light up, and you can hit copy, C, and then you can use that same gesture area and hit V for paste, and it has pasted, so that's pretty cool. You can also, of course, send attachments. So we'll hit the attachment button, and it uh, defaults to wanting to send photos, but of course you can send uh, videos if you've got those, and music. We've got all these music files here. And also, looks like it looks for uh, all sorts of stuff and documents and whatnot. This looks inside your storage area.
which is pretty cool. Notice one of them is the uh, open source uh, disclaimer from uh, Palm. That's pretty neat. So uh, I'll send that to myself. All the uh, all the information that Palm says about what the open source software they've used on the pre. So we'll email that off. And so that you can see it's down there sending. And we'll go back into our box and let's open up our first email. And actually, while that's uh, before we go on here, let's go back real quick. Notice it's relatively hard to distinguish between read and unread emails. So this one is unread. Um, well, this one's read, unread because it's the, the, the subject isn't bold. And there I just received the email I sent to myself. And this one is unread because it's bold and unbold. So there you go. Okay, so here's an email I sent to myself. And, uh, you know, whatever. But it has a picture attachment. And that's right here. So I'm going to tap on that picture attachment. And there it is. It's pretty cool. So we're going to copy that to photos because I want to save that. That's a really nice wallpaper. And while email is sitting open here, I'm actually going to jump into photos. And we're going to go ahead and uh, take that. It gets put in the downloads folder. So we're going to go into that. And, uh, well, there it is. That's pretty nice. I do like that. So we're going to take that and we're going to set that as my wallpaper. That is great. Thanks to Doc31 for that. That's wonderful stuff. Okay, so we'll leave that open. And uh, we'll go back to our uh, email here. So you can see, of course, the person that sent it and their contact photo. And you can uh, even select that to go look at all their contact information, which is pretty cool. We'll just go back. You can uh, see who it was sent to, all the recipients. Um, that's pretty nice. Uh, here's your subject line. And you can tap on the subject. There's little arrows left and right. If you tap on the subject, it automatically goes to the next email. You can also tap on the back area arrow to go to the last email. And then, of course, you've got your reply, reply all, forward, and trash buttons down here. And uh, you've also got some more options. You can mark it as unread, you can flag it, you can move it to a different folder, and, and so on and so forth. One other way that's really convenient to delete an email, see I actually flagged that one, is you can just slide to the right and away it goes. Deleted, deleted, deleted. Here's another email I sent to myself. It's a sample PDF document. And so we're going to go ahead and download that. And so you see once you hit download, you get a nice cute little progress bar showing you that it's downloading. And it's about done. It's a pretty big PDF document. You can also cancel the download. Let's try going to the next email, see what happens here. Oh, here's an Excel document that was sent to me. And that PDF is now downloaded, so we're going to go ahead and open that up. And there is a PDF viewer built into the pre, of course. And so it's loading up, and here we go. And, uh, looks pretty darn good. You've got uh, all your zooming options. You can double tap to zoom and so on. PDF viewer is very nice and you've got different options here, setting bookmarks, sharing, and so on. But we're done with that. So let's go back to our email. Actually, let's get our email over here in the middle. Let's do that. That's a lot more convenient. Okay. Now I also just downloaded this Excel document and so we're gonna open that up as well inside the uh, docs to go viewer. That's going to open up, and uh, bada bing. You can see here we can zoom in and out and scroll around. Very nice. And that's about all the further let me zoom, so we'll go to the next page. So there's different uh, sheets here. Now this, uh, this Excel document did have a chart attached to it, but it doesn't look like it allowed me to take a look at that, which is a bummer. So let's we can even look at a list of all the worksheets that are available too, which is pretty slick. Close that. Let's go back to our email. Let's go back to our list of email views and so on. Here's an email that's got a bunch of formatting on it, and you can see it uh, handles the formatting pretty darn well. Not bad at all. And uh, here's another attachment. This is just a photo attachment. We can go there. And here's some more formatting. You can see and you can even get clickable links. If you click that, it'll open up the link, opens up the web browser, and this is, of course, the full page of precentral.net, which, as you can see, looks pretty darn good. So there you are. That's a quick overview of email on the Palm Pre. It pushes IMAP. It's uh, pretty easy to handle, and as you can see, it is pretty snappy. I am a fan.